judging. It's such a hot topic and uh, nobody wants to be on the receiving end of judgment. And we're clearly told by Jesus and Paul that we are not to judge others. And as a matter of fact, I just talked about that two days ago in my Good News Reflection on 1 Corinthians chapter 4. But then we get to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and it seems like Paul is saying something different here. In fact, even encouraging the Corinthians to judge what's going on. Does Paul contradict himself and Jesus in this chapter? How do we get to the bottom of this? Well, we're going to dive in and see if we can't answer some of those questions in today's Good News Reflection. So we're taking a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And here, Paul is really shaming the Corinthians for, for uh, filing lawsuits against one another in the regular court of law. So two believers having a dispute and bringing that before unbelievers. And Paul says, why are you doing that? And then he says here in verse two, don't you know that the saints will judge the world? And if you're to judge the world, are you not competent to judge trivial cases? Do you not know that we will judge angels? How much more the things of this life? Therefore, if you have disputes about, about such matters, appoint as judges, even men of little account in your church. We should judge. Oh my goodness. So which is it? Should we not judge or should we judge? How do we decide? And then Paul goes on to talk in the rest of this chapter how we, uh, we should not be sexually immoral. Do not he's a flee from sexual immorality. And then he names some uh, wickedness that we ought not to partake in. Well, isn't that sort of a judgment in and of itself saying that this these types of, of behaviors and actions are wrong? Isn't that judgment? So here's what I did. I did a little digging. And um, after looking at this chapter and then some other texts, I came to this con to a conclusion. I'll bring you up to speed on the other texts. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the me measure you used, it will be measured to you. And then Paul says in Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Oops, it's here somewhere. Therefore you have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge the other, you're condemning yourself because you who pass judgment do the same things. All right, so I think that what we need to do is delineate between the topics on hand here. So, we are not to draw conclusions about a person's eternal reward or even their standing before God. Those are the judgments we're not supposed to do. We're not supposed to judge how God views another person or whether they will, what type of eternal reward they will have. That is, that is reserved for God and Jesus. However, we do have wisdom of God. We have the Holy Scriptures. We have God's will here in this place. And we can clearly delineate between right and wrong. And so if we are given to a situation, we should be able to choose what is the right path. And so Paul says here, hey, you you know the things of God. You should be able to judge in trivial matters whether one scenario is right or whether it is wrong. And so our judgment is to be reserved 
between things of right and wrong, things that are clearly spelled out by God in his scriptures. And we can decide whether a behavior is right or wrong. What we're not to do is to, is to judge other people. We are, are to allow God that, that final decision and to think of everyone highly, to regard them as valuable, and to see them as the treasure that they truly are. So we can judge things, we can judge behaviors, we can judge situations, whether they're right or wrong, but people, that's best left up to God. Mm-hmm.